this on YouTube later and um, uh, I'll upload it to my groups. But anxiety is no joke and I pray for any of you that have it because some cases are worse than others. Some people just go in mood swings and say it's an anxiety attack because that's normal for them to switch moods. But for me personally, it's like I become a completely different person. I have an out-of-body experience. And I'm not talking my split personality, different person, same person. No. I'm talking. I'm a demon one minute, lovable the next, crime, fucking sadder than anything the next, pissed as shit the next. It's, it's like a whirlwind. And I really don't mean to take it out on anybody. I apologize, but those of you that have it, you know how it is. You know. And and that's not to say some cases people will tell you, well, I don't do that, so don't do it to me. You act like, like a lot of anxiety attacks. If you can sit there and say you haven't had one that you go out of your way uncontrollably doing things that you're not even trying to do, you think... We like stressing ourselves out over the stupidest shit. You think we like questioning. You think we like feeling like we're so out of breath. Like we're about to die. Like our heart's going to explode. No. No, we don't. But as people in our lives, that if you stick around and stay through that, then you'll see our good time. Those of us that suffer, we know how difficult we can be. We know we're head gazes. And a lot of us have different diseases as well, like me with my PTSD, my ADHD, my insomnia, depression, bipolar, whatever. I am who I am. I don't blame. I make the best of my diseases because life is too short to let a disease control me. Everything is what you make it. So make it. I flipped out tonight. I had a bad... I had a bad time, and it, for you, this is just the people, like, and I'm not singling out any, I'm just saying, like, yeah, like, I want to know, especially to a person that I really like that I flipped out on tonight, if she thinks I wanted to flip out on her, no, I didn't, because I really like her, and I thought it was going, well, I don't know, I don't think she likes me that much, but I do think it was, maybe, maybe, bottom line is, takes a lot out of you man but it takes guts to wake up every day or go on little no sleep because of your attacks and keep going on like nothing happened and that's what i'm gonna do this is over it's done with but just be alert that anxiety is no joke panic attacks pff, i have not had one like that since the night Alyssa died and believe me that's why I, I think for a lot of us, we start getting flashbacks of shit, and that's how, boom, we start worrying, 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 and then bam, we're under a lot of stress as it is. I will make more of this life, though, but I refuse to take meds, and that's the thing. Some people are controlled with it because they take meds for it. Hey, good for you. Guess what? I take meds. Guess what I'm doing a month later or less? Sniffing lines of fucking coke or meth and fucking sniffing heroin, smoking heroin again. You think I want to do that? No. No, I don't. That's not an option. You heard it here, folks. First, I'm done. I haven't done heroin since January. Everything else has been almost two months. I'm done. I fucked up my six month clean time back in June. I'm not fucking up anymore. I'm tired of being a fuck up. So I'm sorry. But if you're in my life, you just got to learn to cope with it. And I will try to do a better job of warning you when I feel like the walls are caving in. I need a little space. But I also, I don't know what it's like to have that person that loves you that much to say, hey, I'm here for you. I don't care. I have good friends that will slap cigarettes out of my hands now if I go, which I haven't. Thank you, Aaron. I love you, buddy. Um, uh, all I can say, guys, is it's a bitch, but you got to make it the best you can. You got to move forward. You can't sit there dwelling on it, feeling like an asshole, because at the same 
sometimes that's part of you lashing out, but at the same time, that's a completely different monster within you that you didn't even know existed that you don't want the world to see. So, all I can say is when you feel like you're having them, try to talk to somebody before you flip out. Love you guys.